Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's video, uh, I will be showing you how to download the MPitch or Open MPI for the support of parallel processing uh, in weather search and forecasting model. So there are various versions which you can you can install uh, as per the compatibility of your system configuration. So because my system has certain configuration and uh, it is mostly using the latest version of different compilers. So uh, I tried and it turned, it turned out that version 3.4.0 of MPH is working properly on my system. So how you will uh, install, so just open your open your browser and just paste on paste MPH 0.4.0 and it will so you various list for the downloads so m m pitch p i c h so there are various options so you can uh, go to this static downloads or you can go from download directly and then you can search for the relevant uh, limit right so i am going to index of static download 3.4.3 and uh, if you if you click on this you will be redirected to the the download directory and uh, let's see if it works or and uh, perhaps yeah let me check how it will going to go and um, yep yep so we have a this list so you can just use this mpitch 3.4.3 tar dot the you can just click on this and you will the download will go into start so i have already downloaded so i don't want to download it again okay so once you have this uh downloaded version of this now you have to uh go back to the directory where you have downloaded this version so uh it happens to be that I have downloaded this in within the library. So in the previous installation of part three, I have shown you how to install the NetCDF file in which I have showed you how to create the directory, a uh, library directory, and in which you have to download this MPitch uh, version. So we have WRF installation latest build, build WRF and the library. And inside this, we have this mpage 3.4.3 dot tar dot zz so we have to first of all we have to untar it so use tar x v z f and m mpage 3.4.3 dot tar zz okay so once it is untar now you have to go inside mpage 3.4.3 so now we are inside it now, uh, a few things we need to be careful before configuring config before we can configure this for our system. So we need to set a few of environment variables or path of some compilers. Uh, so you have to just make sure that these paths are available for your current directory okay so you have to put this export the directory so this directory would be where your mpitch is placed or where you would like to install the mpitch and these are the uh, command for exporting the various compilers c comp first is the c compiler second one is G c plus plus compiler the g fortron m64 g fortron uh, uh, this is for six, Fortron 77, this is Fortron uh, 95, and this is again flag for 64-bit uh, Fortron 77. So these has to be, uh, this command has to be placed in your BSRC directory, or BSRC file rather, so dot .BSRC. So how you will open this? So for opening, you, if you, uh, so to open this, you need to use VI, this and dot base rc okay so it will open this 
or otherwise you if you want to use uh, some other uh, gedit if you have gedit which is available in most of the linux system by default so you can use bash rc okay so it will open this so in this file you have to place this these commands once you have done this okay so we are already in the mpish directory now what we have to do we have to configure it first okay so how we will configure it so to configure this uh, we need to uh, use this so you either you can just simply use configure prefix and directory mpish this can be done if if your version is compatible with the def default setting of your system but many a times it doesn't work. So let's see if it works. So I'm using the first very simple command, configure, prefix, and directory. And let's see, it will going to give some errors and then we need to use some different commands as per the requirement. So it is showing there is error, no CH4 net mode selected. Okay, so we have to select this mode. And uh, also there are some errors which I faced afterwards and I have rectified it through this. So we have to use uh, this with device CH4 OFI and some, we have to select, select some flags for follow argument mismatch, okay? So I don't want to get into the details of all this. You just simply use this command. Uh, so you may not need all this if your system setting is compatible with the version you are using or if it, if it is already set in your system. So it happens that in my system, it is not set up. Already it is not by default, it is not uh, set up. So I have to uh, uh, do some manual setting here. So we have to use some from here, bit device CH4 this and follow argument mismatch. So these two commands I have to need, uh, I, I need to add these two extra command for the configuration steps. So now it will start the configuration procedure. Okay, let's wait for some time and and once it is done, we will be uh, following next steps. Okay, let's wait for it. will take some time. Okay, so it is completed. Now we have to use make. Okay, once it is make is successfully executed, then we have to use the make install. Okay, it will take some time, so let's wait, wait for it to happen. Okay. So few things also need to be remembered that uh, before starting the procedure, you need to make sure that all these commands or lines have been already added in the BSRC file. And once they have been added, you need to also source them. Okay, how you will do? So you have to use the source. If you are finding it difficult, you have to do as well. yours, base, SRC, okay? So this, has, this can be 
Dan so it may take some uh, 10 to 15 minutes at max. So let's wait for it. Uh, so if you haven't liked the video, please, if you find it useful, please consider liking it. Also share with your friends who might be in need. And also subscribe the channel so that you will be, uh, you will remain updated with the latest video on this channel. So what happens is that when you like and when you share the video, the YouTube algorithm actually helps uh, or it pushes the video or the channel to, to large in larger audience and it gets uh, a boost so that the people which are in need of such video can find it. So it, it will be very helpful for the reach of this video if you like it. And also if you share it, it will, it will again add up to the uh, to the availability of this video on various search engines. So let's wait for it and uh, hopefully we will be able to complete this on time. Okay. So this is done. Now what else is needed is make install. Okay. Just type make install. Okay. So this is uh, all about the installation. Now you have to just uh, um, uh, add one more line. So once you have done, you have to open this BSRC file using sudo nan sudo nano uh, BSRC or or using any other uh, way. So you can use the gedit as well as so gedit. You have to simply use gedit BSRC. Okay. So you have to add this line pass directory pass. So this line has to be added here. Export pass is equal to directory and page bin and s path. And once it is done, you have to source. Okay, then finished. So this is all about the installation of. Uh, uh, mpitch and in the next video we'll be looking at how to install the jadlib and uh, jasper sky and also uh, there is one more software which need to be installed is the uh, jadlib and libpng jadlib libpng and jasper sky jasper so these all three software together are actually to support the grave 2 capability in WRF modeling system. So if you do not want WRF to be able to process the grip2 files, then you do not need to install this. But if you want the support, then it is important that you should install this uh, grip2 capabilities software, which are the JetLib, LibPNG, and Jasper. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching. And please do not forget to like, share, and like the video, share if you find that somebody might be I might get benefit from this video and also uh, I would like you to please subscribe the channel for uh, further updates. Thank you very much for watching and I will be seeing you in the next video. Till then, bye bye and take care.